Welcome, welcome to Ant, Angela Vanicoleta Design. Hi everyone, in today's article I'm reading the one from November 26th. How to know if a client is a good fit for collaboration. It's a feeling. You know when it's right and definitely when it is not. Also called gut feeling, intuition or just having some good emotional intelligence and introspection to recognize if it's a good business fit or not. Sometimes first impressions are critical. Let's be honest, we never know if we are a good fit or not until we complete a project or phase of a project together. Even after that, it is possible that the relationship can take a different turn based on miscommunication or misunderstanding that leads to mismatched expectations and eventual dissatisfaction. It is essential for a business or any relationship for both parties to have the ability to communicate well, to get your thoughts, concerns and ideas across to the other side without stepping on a mine in form of an emotional trigger and having the ability to perceive information with empathy and understanding. To consider others in viewing the relationship as a win-win is a must, if you ask me. Having the same negotiation style also puts the premise for collaboration rather than transaction-based interaction with the usual boss subordinate dynamic. Whenever I have a discovery calls or meetings, I'm trying to assess precisely that. Do I have a partner on the other side who is as motivated and interested as me in solving a problem and creating a meaningful solution? What I have learned in the past year regarding finding good clients is that working with them indeed feels pleasant and easy. Like you are working with a friend who has your best interest at heart. Respecting your boundaries, being professional and polite, asking for help when needed, communicating doubts and problems in a transparent and non-confrontational way. A we attitude, giving detailed and constructive feedback and of course having a sense of humor. One thing to be clear. While working with difficult and unsuitable clients, best believe that you will learn and grow more because they will challenge you and your patience. I remember accepting a project I knew won't be a good fit, but I deliberately put myself in a challenging situation because I knew it was time to test my abilities and learn some lessons. I also learned that to have a smooth collaboration need to know myself well enough to define healthy boundaries and communicate important information promptly. Also one great piece of advice I recently heard from an entrepreneurship education at the Blue Center in Zagreb was don't react at first, take time, think about it, ask and then act or react. P.S. Another recommended read was the book Sales Dogs, which uses the met- metaphor of dogs to say that a great salesperson is like a loyal, persistent and lovable dog. It specifies also that there are five different breeds and personalities. I will let you know how it is after I finish reading it. Also, wonder if the breeds apply to salespeople only or also to clients. Sales Dogs This is a great book for not only those who are interested in sales. It is a book about understanding the goodreads.com. Thank you for reading and consider giving me a follow or subscribing for some more interesting articles. Your comments and feedbacks, which I'm still waiting on, keep me motivated to write and record more so I can improve. Um, I didn't read the book, to be honest, because it was like from last year the article and uh, I read so many other books uh, since then but if I ever read it I will definitely update um, the article. Have a great week and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Angelova Nicoleta Design or find me or find me through LinkedIn as Nicoleta Angelova and reach out. Talk to me. 
reach out and talk to me so we can uh, hang out here on this dead silent platform see you in the next one bye